are cyber drones. Are you freaking kidding me? They have cyber drones? What's up, Misfits? We have two episodes left of series 12 of Doctor Who, and we still have a ton of questions that are unanswered. Who was the timeless child? Is the master coming back? Is Dr. Ruth coming back? Where did the lone Cyberman go? And is the doctor and her team gonna be able to stop him from destroying the world? Hopefully we find out because those are some pretty big cliffhangers. First up, episode nine. Let's react. Oh! <gasps> Oh man, that is a cool intro. Oh, that is sick. That was awesome. Ascension of the Cybermen. Wait, oh my god. Is that the dude that's the lone Cyberman? Is he the lone Cyberman? This is such a happy story, so inevitably it's gonna be horribly tragic. One of those two is the Cyberman, either the kid or the father. I feel like it might be the kid though. Me and my friends, we care. Please. Oh my god! Are they like bombs? Cyber They're cyber drones! Are you freaking kidding me? They have cyber drones? Those are kinda sick. They look kinda ridiculous. But I love it. Those all them. I know! I can't, I really can't decide if I think the helmet, like cyber drones are cool or really stupid. <laughs> Oh my god, what's gonna happen to Ryan? No, no, they cannot kill him off in this episode. <sighs> but you're a liar. Oh no. Oh my god, did he kill him? And the Cybermen will rise again. Not if I have anything to do with it. <laughs> Perfect timing. Crap, how's she gonna get her TARDIS back? I'm telling you, that's gotta be him. Otherwise it makes absolutely no sense. Whoa! Wait, it's just a hologram. It's just a hologram, we're okay. We're okay. The ascension of the Cyberman. I love when they put the title. The of everything is within me. Well, that's haunting. Oh my God. How, how? 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 What are you freaking made of? He got shot and fell off a cliff and then just got up and ran away. Oh, he is for sure. He is for sure the lone Cyberman. That is for sure him. It's parts of Cybermen. Not mad. Hopeful. Not mad. Hopeful. I like that. I really like that they split them up and we get to see Yaz and Graham take on a team of their own. Like, I really like this. Oh, please tell me that's the Doctor ship. Nope, it is not. His voice is so much creepier than the other two. Or touch it. You know, you're gonna activate something that's not smart. Okay. This was a trick carrier. That's an older looking one. Where's everyone else? It's just him. There's only me. I barely take us any time to get to Koshans. Yeah, no! Hundreds of thousands of dormant Cybermen with us. We're gonna find the Doctor, and we're gonna take them Cybermen But down. they're on the freaking ship with you, and there's oh, so great. many of them. Well, they got their own, like, language. Kind of resembles Arabic a tiny bit. It's a little curvier, though. What? What the? What are you doing? I don't understand what's happening. Something is off. Something is so off. We will respond. What? What is happening? Why have they not aged? Who are they? What is happening? I have so many questions. I don't know what is happening. I got actual chills just now. Actual chills. <laughs> oh, this is not good. This is not good. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> it's Gallifrey, it's Gallifrey, it's Gallifrey, it's Gallifrey. 
I knew it. I knew it. That's why I have planet. <gasps> wow! It's oh. oh. a good entrance. He's back. Be afraid, Doctor. Because everything is about to change forever. It is it. Oh. It's over. And now it's over. Obviously now it's over. <laughs> that was really good. Just like, wow. wow. From the second that episode began until the end, it was just non-stop exhilarating. And I was on the edge of my seat the entire time. So the master pops up at the end to give the doctor a warning. Be afraid, doctor. Because everything is about to change forever. And the master popping up when the Cybermen are about to attack is becoming kind of a pattern in Doctor Who. I mean, Missy raised an army of Cybermen. Everywhere, anywhere, me and my boys. But he could also just be using this timing to wreck even more havoc, so maybe they're not working together. Maybe he wasn't part of the Cyberman's plan. There's a lot we still have to find out in the next one because they left us on a massive cliffhanger. The portal opens up to Gallifrey. How does it do that? And were all the people going to Gallifrey to seek Help, but Gallifrey is completely destroyed. Yaz and Graham and a couple of the other humans are trapped on the Cyberman ship and they are about to bust through those doors and get them. That's where we left off. We don't know, are they gonna survive? We still have absolutely no idea who the Timeless Child is. I'm just gonna assume it's gonna pop up in the next one. Not even a clue in this one, so... It's coming though, it's coming. I am still severely confused about who those guys were that didn't age and that put the harness on and I guess we're trying to create a Cyberman? That whole story, I hope there's more to it because I'm assuming that that guy is now the lone Cyberman, that's him. That's gotta be, that's what makes the most sense. But like, where did he come from in the first place? And how are those two related to this? And just so many questions. But that's why this makes this the perfect episode. It left everything up in the air for the next one to conclude the story and it's a perfect setup for the last episode. I loved it. Some things about the Cyberman, we had the lone Cyberman, then the newer looking ones and then the older looking ones. So there's a lot of different like generations of Cybermen in there. And then the lone Cyberman went and attacked whatever he did to one of those older Cybermen and he could actually feel pain. Cybermen aren't supposed to feel pain, but that one could feel pain. What kind of Cyberman does that to another Cyberman? That's what they were wanting to know too. Carrying a Cyberman that makes other Cybermen scream. It's like they're wanting them to feel pain now and feelings, but why? Why? Anyway, my brain is going like, my mind is going a mile an hour. That fast. I'm incredibly excited for the next episode. I hope it answers all my questions and wraps up the whole series nicely. I have really high hopes for it, so I hope it delivers. I'm still not sure how I feel about the cyber drones because at first I was like, oh, those are freaking awesome. And then I'm like, they're just heads. They're heads that are flying around and shooting at people and they look a little ridiculous. So that's all I gotta say about this one. Let's move on to your comments. Let's see what you guys had to say on episode eight. First up, Firefly24601. Nadia was basically the butler valet for the first half of this episode. <laughs> to each their own, I hope you like the remaining episodes. I was, I hate to say it, I didn't like the last episode and I was so indifferent. I was like the butler who kept like rolling his eyes in the distance and was like, this is dumb. It's personal preference. It is entirely personal preference. I don't like period like drama type shows and I also don't like ghost stories. So the two of them together were not a good combination for me and I just couldn't get hooked in at the beginning. But then when the lone Cyberman came in, I was good to go. Jamie Doyle also said, I don't understand why you couldn't get into this story. The vast majority of people did. I thought this one was a very good story. But like I said, just a bad combination for me. Nothing against the writers, actors, anything like that. Not my thing. And that's okay because this one was and I really liked it. Okay, it's pretty clear that everyone liked the episode except for me and I get that and that's totally fine. Philip Hawkins is also like, I thought this was a great episode. Atmospheric, creepy, and for me, not boring at all. Looking forward to your reaction to last night's season finale. It is coming, stay tuned. I have a lot of stuff going on in my life right now, but it is coming as soon as I can get it done. Make sure you're subscribed so you'll be notified as soon as it goes up. John O'Dayti. John O'Dayti, I apologize if I pronounce that wrong. I found the stakes for this episode pretty interesting. I genuinely felt that the characters were in genuine danger when the Cyberman came into the picture. I agree, he is creepy. Everything is in me for the ascension of the Cyberman. 
I thought they really nailed the horror tone of the episode really well. I feel like it really shows how much the fam doesn't understand the repercussions of changing the timeline, considering they were willing to let Percy Shelley die just to avoid letting the Cyberman get what it wanted. Yes! They don't in the whole doctor's speech about how she's got to make the decisions because they don't understand. Totally agree there. Well, yes, it probably would have avoided the mess that happens in episode nine, which I just saw, yeah. Taking out a major player in history would probably be even more catastrophic on the companions. On top of that, this emotional Cyberman is proving to be more deadly than a regular Cyberman. Yes, he is. This whole nother level of Cyberman that we haven't seen yet. The fact that he has emotions in the Cybertech is a bad mix and definitely makes him more threatening. I'm excited to see where this goes. I hope you are too. I am so excited to see where this is going. And yes, he is a dangerous combination. Honestly, I don't know what his plan is exactly for this next one and he's horrifying. But yeah, I mean the butterfly effect and all, it's gonna affect the humans if you take out a key player in history. Everything else is gonna change. And the fact that they don't understand that this far in is concerning. I mean, they've been traveling with the doctor for how long now and I just, I don't know. Do we know if any of the companions are coming back next season? Leave a comment down below and I'll pick a few of them to feature in my next video. Thank you guys for watching this video. I will see you for episode 10. Remember to keep it weird and keep it real.